Good afternoon. God bless you. God guide you. My name is Joshua Mwango and I'm the founder of the Power of Dreams group. Today I'm going to talk about stirring up your gift. You have to understand everyone as a Christian, everyone will accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior. You have received a measure of faith and you have received a spiritual gift from birth. These are the things that we are going to talk about today. How do you develop these skills, these dreams, these visions to prophesy, to heal, to give leadership, praising, worship, in exaltation. It's about stirring up the spiritual gift in your life. In Hebrews 5 verse 14 it says, But solid food belongs to those who are of age, those who, are, those who by the sense of use, that is, using their gifts, practicing their gifts, have the sense of knowing good and evil, who can able to discern between good and evil. Now you have to understand what is he saying. The key word is by the sense or by practicing their gifts. They have received more glory and more grace. You have to understand, even the stairs that were given talents, two decided to practice those talents. One decided to bury it. As a Christian, do not bury your spiritual gift because it is meant to strengthen others in their weaknesses. The same way others have got a strength that you will be helped in in your weaknesses. So you need to understand if you have dreams and visions, that is a spiritual gift that you should use. If you see visions, if you prophesy, if you speak in tongues, if you can heal, if you can pray, that is the time to stir up the gift. You have to understand that in the body of Christ right now, there's a revival because God wants to attack the enemy one-on-one. -on -one. God wants to attack the enemy in your job, in your business, in your family, in your friends, in your in your lifestyle, in, in government, wherever you work, God wants to use you to exalt his name in that time. So you need to be ready to practice these spiritual gifts upon demand, not waiting to go to church, not waiting for prayer time, which is good by the way, keeping these times, but you need to practice and steer these gifts so that God may give you more grace and blessings. Why should you be given more blessings if you're not able to use them? People are just crying for blessings to stay in the comfort zone, but this is the time to fight the enemy, to seek the power of the Holy Ghost, to see the manifestation of Jesus Christ. For Jesus said, Lord God Almighty, he said that those who believe in me shall do even greater things than me do even greater things than me. So believe me, your spiritual gifts will unlock a certain gift or talent or blessing or peace or breakthrough. So let us pray. Father, we thank you, Lord God Almighty, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Nisi. We thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for this time, Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Nisi, that you have taught us to practice our gifts and our talents. I declare right now in the name of Jesus Christ that people shall go and stir up their gifts, that they shall not be afraid or fear, that they shall practice their gifts in faith. In Jesus' name we pray. We thanks, give it in our hearts. Amen.